I grew up in Los Angeles, the most narcissistic city in the world, and I partake in a narcissistic activity. Graffiti. Graffiti's all about me. Free advertising. I'm up there, balls to the wall, advertising for me and my crew because I'm from Campy Stop. I think we have a good backbone. My crew's like one of the oldest and most well-known crews in LA and if not the graffiti world. I think 83 or 84, I, I remember blasting like the Sunset Strip. I don't know if it was 84 or 85, I blasted the Hollywood sign. It was the truth. He was a real Hollywood vandal. The leader of our crew, and that's why we're all, we were all fucked up back then. Because look who our leader was, and a good leader at that. If I just think about LA, I, I mean, he's like one of the figures in my head. It's almost like a cartoon character. He was just so larger than life. We were really uh, very similar in a lot of ways, and I think that's indicative to children of the 70s. I think a lot of us lost our fathers, and we are that generation. That's where the gangs come from. That's where the violence and the anger and the aggression and graffiti. Graffiti came out of that. It was in the middle of, like, hookers on Sunset. Ah, give me, give me, give me. There was some freaky, like, nasty, grimy, sleazy shit popping off. Everybody think Hollywood is soft, but try living on the streets up in Hollywood, man. There's predators, all types of creepy motherfuckers running around up there. Those three letters to me meant the world, and I think it meant a lot to a lot of people. We had to, at times, gangbang against full gang. It wasn't like New York, where it was all strictly hip-hop. Everyone here encompassed punk rock, encompassed surfing and skateboarding and sholos and L.A. lifestyle. It was like the Warriors, man, with, with fucking good weather. It wasn't about our graffiti and what, how dope Mir was or how up I was or how fresh Rob was a DJ. It was about our mindset in all of those capacities. And every single one, I'll whoop your ass, I'll burn you on the wall, and I can out-rap you or out-DJ you on the spot. I can't even mention how many times I was at parties with a couple heads and I felt fine, but I also knew shit could pop off, you know what I mean? Things could happen. People are getting shot and killed. Like, at least we got a fighting chance, you know what I mean? No, I'm serious, dude. I'm dead serious when I say that. Like, these guys, like, I trusted my life with. Oh! 